You are listening to the Mark Guzman Podcast Experience. I recently received a question after I shared an article from the SF Chronicle about the recent announcement by Freddie Mac that for certain home purchases, they will waive the appraisal requirement. According to Freddie Mac, this will save time within a transaction and save the home buyer approximately $500. So let's break this down. First, I will explain Freddie Mac briefly. Freddie Mac is a government-sponsored buyer of mortgages. When a bank lends out money using guidelines provided by Freddie Mac, the bank can sell the loan to Freddie Mac. The bank gets their money back and can relend it to another buyer. This process is extremely critical to our housing market because Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, which is another government-sponsored buyer, they purchase about 80% of all conventional loans. So, will it save time within a transaction? Answer is yes, it will. Right now, so many transactions are delayed due to the appraisal process. I cannot tell you how many banks and loan officers promise to get this done quickly, yet 75% of the time, the appraisal delays the transaction. Appraisers will get the order and they are too busy, so it takes weeks to get it done, or they're simply not a good appraiser. Time management sucks. Instead of using an appraisal, Freddie Mac will use an automated collateral evaluation, also known as an automated valuation model. Basically, that's an algorithm that estimates the value of a home similar to what Zillow uses for their Zestimates. With an automated valuation model, a value is generated within seconds. So what's wrong with this? Opponents are claiming that this will eliminate many appraisers from the industry due to less demand and the biggest criticism is that the automated valuation models are not always accurate. Here's my opinion. Automated valuation algorithms are not always accurate. Yes, there are some valuations that are completely off target, but I also see a lot that are extremely accurate. It is all based on available data. And as this world continues to move into a data-driven world, more data becomes available and these algorithms will become more accurate. One of the biggest complaints from people about these algorithms is that these algorithms do not know if a home has been updated or modified. So it generates values based on simple data like beds, baths, square footage, and recent sales. Being at the recent Inman Connect conference in San Francisco, I can tell you that this is going to change. Google and other companies have the technology now that can identify upgrades and material used in housing based on simple photos. For example, if you take a picture of your kitchen, their software can identify the difference between granite and tile counters. It can identify the difference between vinyl or laminate floors, stainless steel appliances or not. Imagine this, instead of an appraiser getting paid $500 to do an appraisal, someone, and it can be anyone, maybe even Uber jumps on this, is paid $50 to take interior and exterior photos of a house. They submit photos to the software that identifies every possible upgrade. Then the software is tied to an algorithm that is then able to create an automated valuation model based on data and recent sales of other properties with similar upgrades. It will give you an accurate value at that point. People, this is coming way sooner than you think. And remember one thing, I just said Uber can jump on this as an on-demand service.